By simply hooking up a few sensors to a patient on a treadmill, stress tests can instantly tell doctors a lot about a patient's heart. For decades, they've been the test of choice, and given how easy and inexpensive they can be, it's not surprising. But what is surprising is the fact that all the research that describes stress testing initially and that has gone on for over almost more than 40 years was only done on men. That means all the guidelines that determine who is fit and how fit they should be aren't always accurate in women. And that's something Dr. Martha Galati of Ohio State University Medical Center is hoping to change. Hey, good afternoon. Oh, how good are afternoon you? To you. Since to 1992, Galati and a team of researchers have been following 6,000 women, putting them through countless exams and stress tests. And she's finding the formula for heart health isn't always the same for everyone. I looked at what their age predicted fitness level should be, and we found a completely different equation than what has been established in men. For example, there are readings known as ST segments that measure blood flow to the heart. Those readings are often different in women, and things like blood pressure and fitness levels seem to play a different role than they do in men. That's information women like Harriet O'Toole should know. This former marathon runner had a heart attack she never saw coming, although there were clues. Looking back and researching family members, the male side of the family had had many heart attacks, most of them fatal. Which is why Galati says women who get stress tests should ask about female-specific readings. Even if they look good today, these tests can hold clues to future problems, but only if they're read properly. At Ohio State University Medical Center, this is Clark Powell reporting.